Hi everyone, how are you going? I just thought I'd come in and do an update on the week of action rallies next week. Um, rallies against poverty, 80 a day rallies, which are being done with ourselves, No Cashes Debit Card Australia, um, Life, which is Living Incomes for Everyone, AUWU and Get Up, and also CPSU and other groups that are joining in as well. So I'll just give it a couple of seconds for... Um, people to join and there's my notification to say that I'm live <laughs> it takes a couple of seconds to kick in so um, yeah I just thought I'd come in and do an update for you so as to what's happening so next week kicks off a week of actions across the country um, which get up AUWU life no cash is debit card Australia anti-poverty network SA anti-poverty network Queensland um, and whole other groups have put together and it's um, it's all coming together different groups are doing different things so to start with on the Saturday um, at a place called Addison Road I'm not sure that I'll get the total details for you and put them in the comments as soon as I've got the link on my own page in Sydney there is a zombie march okay so we're in, I'll, I'll put the link in the comments here and if we've got members in Sydney that have got our shirts that can attend that rally that'd be really good so Monday I fly out to Canberra um, for the event on the 16th in Canberra which um, I'm also a speaker and we're going to talk to politicians and we're having sort of like a rally type thing there that's from I think 11 15 a.m. in the morning on on 16th of March in Canberra Parliament House and then um, it's a mad dash back to Brisbane for me on the Wednesday. Stay over on the Wednesday night for the Brisbane event outside Indu at Toowong. So if you're in Brisbane or surrounds and you've got one of our shirts, even if you haven't got one of our shirts, come down to um, Indu at 601 Coronation Drive, Toowong. Uh, that starts at 9.30 in the morning. That'll be followed by another event by Anti-Poverty Network Queensland which will be um, a rally outside Serena Rosso offices at 1 p.m. in the city. Now, I can't hang around for that because I'm off to Melbourne. Um, I've got to get on a, a five to three flight on Thursday and fly to Melbourne for the Victorian rally on the Friday at noon uh, at 4 Treasury Place. And it starts sharp at 12 on Friday, the 19th of March, of which I'll be speaking there as well. Um, so yeah it's a busy week <laughs> but um, where I can I'll put all the links to the events in the comments section under this when I get off this if you're in any of these regions if you're in Victoria and you can get into Melbourne on the Friday the 19th uh, to Treasury Place please come down you know what I mean if you're in Sydney and you can go to the zombie rally please do if you're in Brisbane come to the Brisbane rally if you're in South Australia, um, also on the Friday the 19th at 2 p.m. at Parliament House, um, I know that Kelly and others would be very happy to see you there. Um, we have a six-foot banner as well already for somebody to be able to use. So if you're in South Australia, that's a rally, uh, a living incomes for all on Friday, March the 19th at 2 p.m. outside Parliament House. So that would be great. So there's all this activity on top of the Women's March, of course, which is on Monday around the country. Unfortunately, I won't be able to attend because I'll be flying all day to get to Canberra. But I'll be wearing my purple no-card shirt on my flight, you know. Um, so people can stare at me as I walk through the airports, you know what I mean? So it's a busy week next week. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm not used to flying all over the countryside. This will be interesting. So, busy, busy, busy. Um, so, support where you can. And, like I said, as soon as I can get all the links into the comments underneath, I'll be making an event page for the Victorian Rally for us. Um, so, and we'll put that on our Victorian page as well so that people know to come to Treasury Place. And, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. So as you saw on the page earlier, um, you know, our efforts yesterday to help 
um, the mum in Seduna. I couldn't just buy stuff for the little kid because she's got a four-year-old brother, two-year-old little sister. <coughs> <coughs> so as you can see, we raised enough money. I bought some clothes for the two-year-old, a colouring book and some crayons. I bought a couple of colouring books and a toy for the little four-year-old boy. I bought what was needed for the leap pad um, and the educational stuff for the little four-year-old autistic girl. And I got mum some leggings, um, a shirt and some undies, okay? I've got it bagged up here ready to go. I'll be sent out tomorrow. Um, and it's completely filled, the large tough bag. It completely filled it. So um, that stuff will arrive in Seduna sometime next week. I'll, depending on how much it costs, I might send it express. But it's about five kilos worth of goodies. So that'll definitely help them out, that's for sure. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. I can't think of anything else to update with at the moment. I've just come out of a Zoom meeting talking about all of these uh, actions and um, and speaking. And Oh, our stickers arrived today, so if you bu want a bumper sticker, let me know. They're $2 each. I have got our stickers. Um, I'll show you what they look like. Blood up. There they go. So even though it's backwards, you know, you get the idea. You know what I mean? Um, so we've got our bumper stickers for, for your car bumpers now. So, or you can stick them on the window. They don't fade. They've got a three to five year lifespan, which is really good. Um, yeah, nothing else has really happened that I can think of. So that was it. Uh, update on the rallies, the speaking events, and the stickers, and the goodies going to Seduna. So we're doing really well there. Um, yeah. Hi, JC. So if anybody wants to ask any questions, I'll stay on for a little while. If anybody wants to chat. Um, yeah, a lot of people are getting really busy. Yeah, the bumper stickers look good, Kathy. They really do. Um, they did good with them, which is... They might be a little tiny bit narrower than the first ones we had. I'm not sure, but I've got a thousand of them, so they'll keep us going for a while. So, again, if anybody wants one, just drop me a line. I've got to go and find out how much prepaid envelopes cost because I don't know how much ordinary postage stamps cost these days because I'm just used to posting parcels and all the costs have gone up. I know the badges cost $2.00. 20 to post one you know what I mean because wrapping a badge in a leaflet inside an envelope is too fat for a normal and it goes as a large letter they really do know how to charge you for postage but the stickers I'll have to work out how many you can maximize in an envelope um, per envelope uh, I think it's about well it used to be a dollar 25 prepaid for envelopes, but I'm not sure. I'll, I'll have to check it out. Um, yeah, so, yeah, it only took three weeks. Actually, it was amazing, because I rang up to find out when the stickers were being sent out yesterday afternoon, and he's, he came back to me at 3.30, and he said, they're going now. I'm just about to issue, and they were on my doorstep at lunchtime today, which is amazing, because they came from Victoria, to Maryborough <laughs> so yeah that was really overnight express which was fantastic um, yeah not nothing else really to report uh, at this stage um, I've been a little bit busy doing stuff today so I haven't really um, yeah I haven't really got anything else to report but um, I'll add in the links for these various events around the country and I fully encourage any of our members that have got shirts to get out to those events and be seen um, and I know that um, any Poverty Network will recognize you guys in your shirts in South Australia not a problem um, come and see me in Brisbane on Thursday or Canberra on Tuesday or in Victoria on Friday <laughs> I'm certainly getting around 
I, I think I'll be asleep next week, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, I've not done this sort of travelling before, so... Yeah, when I get home Saturday or Sunday, I haven't decided which day yet, I, um, I might be offline for a couple of days. But we'll see. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I've got to report. Oh, well. Well, I'll leave you guys be, and... Um, I'll talk to you later. See ya.